I am 20 years old. I am a photographer, full-time student. Uh, photography is obviously my major. It's something I love. I wouldn't trade for the world. I was around 15, 16 years old. My friend Joe was doing the whole photography thing and seeing a lot of his photos really, really got me inspired to pick up a camera and start, you know, going around taking pictures. Just had, you know, my parents point and shoot digital camera and that's what I started with. It wasn't anything fancy and it really got me involved in, in looking online and seeing all different photographers. It really was, you know, a foundation for, you know, what I am today and like all the work I do today. And in high school and, you know, did some small stuff in photography in there and then realized college, I could major in photography. That's where it really lifted off and, and you know, helped me become, you know, the photographer I am today. We go all night. We go From when I was just using a point-and-shoot digital camera um, to all the film techniques I use today from small format, medium format, large format, Polaroids, you know, slide film. I've learned so much more about photography you know, in, I don't know, four years than I ever thought I would have. Um, so I think I've, I've grown way more than I thought I would, you know, from using film to from digital and all the ways I learned how to manipulate photographs and print photographs. It's, it's grown more, way more than I thought it would. You miss me, you find me. I photograph live photography, people, portraits, landscapes, you name it, I've probably shot it and manipulated it in some way but I think one major point of photography that I really like to shoot is is portraits. It's something that you know all my all my professors told me that taking pictures of people is something I know how to do well and I never thought me taking pictures of people would be something I good at. I'll be holding I recently just got this. This is a um, Yashica Electro 35. Um, it is a 35 millimeter range camera. This is on range rather than um, a focal point. This is my Canon 35mm camera. You get this one. This is a Canon um, AE-1 program. Um, it will forever be my go-to camera, um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, this is my Mamiya 645 uh, 1000S. So this is uh, what I really shoot basically all my, my portraits with. This is my medium format camera, 120. It uses 120 film, so it's a, uh, the film's bigger, um, bigger than the 35mm cameras would be. Um, so that means the negatives are going to be bigger. My pictures, when I print them, are going to be a lot crisper and clearer. Um, so this is my go-to camera when I want to shoot portraits. And this is my um, my Holga, you know, 120 camera. This is my camera when I just want something quick and easy. Um, I mean, a lot of people have seen, you know, all the pic all the cool pictures that come out of Holgas. Um, a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with their Holga. I mean, as you can see, I've you know taped it from head to toe, make sure no light leaks go into it. And I recommend anybody that has one of these cameras, you know, tape them up. And this is my uh, Polaroid 600. I am slowly starting a uh, project, a big project with this. Um, and I hope that, you know, because Polaroid went out, but uh, there's some ways that I can still manage to get Polaroid, 600 Polaroid film. And I'm planning to do a uh, big 365-day uh, pro project with this. I just bought my Canon 60D. Um, this is what I use to take all my digital photographs with, um, and I have a 18 to 135 millimeter lens on it, so it's a zoom lens. No, 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 no. When I'm in school, I'm always in the lab. I'm printing pictures, um, developing film, developing black and white film. Um, I get my color film processed somewhere else. I can't process my own color film. Cool. It's always I'm always busy. I'm running around like a madman, taking pictures printing pictures in class so that's that's slowly how you know my workflow goes when I'm in school when I'm not in school it's a little slower but I always try to you know print pictures uh, take film pictures and scan them put them up online so people can check them out um, but other than that other than you know if I'm not in school it's kind of a slow time for me So what I really look for in, in my photography and when I look to use a photograph for people to see, I always ask myself, um, is this a moment? Um, and I think I got that from one of my classes. Um, so I look for every photograph and say, you know, is this a moment? Is this something that I, I've captured and stopped it in time? And one main thing I look for is, is definitely a moment. I try to look for that, that split second, you know, that I can capture that, you know, will capture and make someone look at it and be like, well, that's definitely a moment. That's something 
that happened that needed to be stopped or you know just something along the lines of that so I can make sure I capture that that moment and uh, make sure so I let people see you know what I see on a Monday I am waiting oh, yes digital I use Adobe Lightroom 3 it's top of line photography program I learned to use Lightroom and Lightroom is my go-to program. I try to convince all my photography friends to use this program for all their digital work, and it is a an A plus program. I can edit and manipulate any any photograph I have in any way, shape, or form. You still use Photoshop, necessarily editing photographs, but like um, you know, putting borders on them or you know, just um, you know, illustration work rather than um, manipulating photographs. So. I'm making all my own I get most support from my friends and family. They tell me that, you know, my photography is good and which is which I'm glad. So it means, you know, I'm doing I'm doing something right and photography is, you know, my niche and it's it's what I'm and it's what I'm good at. I get comments from people all the time online saying they like my photographs, so there's a certain photograph that they like and you know, God forbid if they were, you know, like my photograph so much that they would want a print of it. As for fan base, um, you know, I social network Everything, the Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, uh, you name it, I'm I'm on it. People talk to me all the time, tell me they love my photographs, and I, I really take it to heart. Whether it be one person, you know, or uh, hundreds of people, uh, every one person that tells me like my photograph, I really take it to heart, and it really means a lot. So get, get to the next one before the first. Save your money. Um, I mean, uh, I've built up my collection of cameras and my photographs and my prints over, you know, couples of years. I mean, it's not cheap. I wish I would have gotten into photography knowing how expensive it was going to be, especially if you're going into film photography. It's so expensive. And, you know, if you want to get a good top of the line digital camera, you really need to save your pennies because I really didn't know what I was getting myself into at first when I first started this and I didn't know how much money I was going to drop into it. What we started with the basic, you know, Canon, you know, start of the line um, SLR camera. I mean, I started at point and shoot, but when I realized that it was something I really wanted to get into, I just started with the baseline. I think I had like a Canon T1i, um, and I started with that, and it was my first major digital camera. It's something that I started, and then I realized, you know, I needed to get into my step up my digital game more, so, and that's when I realized, and then I jumped into this. And if you start off with a point and shoot, you realize that you like it a lot. Um, I just start with the basic, you know, Canon, Nikon, SLR cameras that run like four hundred bucks. I mean, so I would start with there. Film wise, um, film wise, I started with you know this Canon AE one, not this one specifically, but this was my a Canon AE one was my first one, and a Canon AE one sold it. I was just like, I love that camera so much. I need it back. A friend of mine um, had one, and I got this back, and it is definitely my favorite camera. It's a 35mm camera, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, Pentax K1000, that's a really starter, you know, started 35mm camera. Um, Kennedy ones, um, you know, like the next level up. I'm pretty sure there's more, you know, 35mm single end reflex cameras that you can get that are pretty cheap. You can get them on eBay for like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Um, but definitely film, uh, start with like a Pentax K1000, Canon AE1, digital, start with like, uh, your point, your, your basic, basic point and shoot cameras or, you know, uh, you know, start of the line, um, DSLR camera. God has master plan and, I get... uh, and go out and take pictures, capture a moment. Every time I take a photograph, I always look at it and say, is this, is this a moment? And that's what I really, really strive for. Um, so take pictures, I don't care how you do it, just take pictures, um, and then send them to me, I don't care how they, how they get to me, I want to see all, everyone's pictures, I encourage everyone to take pictures. Shake it up, shake it up, go dip it in the water and I hope you had enough, I see you're only